Hello and welcome to another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Where Are You Pitching Your Tent? October 28th If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Colossians 3 verses 1 and 2 Many who should be setting their tents nearer to the land of Canaan are pitching their camp nearer to Egypt. They are not living in the light of the sun of righteousness. Many attend places of amusement to gratify the taste, but no spiritual strength is gained by so doing, and you will find yourself on the losing side. To encourage the love of amusement is to discourage the love of religious exercises, for the heart becomes so crowded with trifling with what is pleasing to the natural heart that there is no room for Jesus. It requires the faith that works by love and purifies the soul to meet the mind of God. There are those who believe in Christ. They do not think him an impostor. They believe the Bible to be a revelation of his divine character. They admire its holy doctrines and rever the name, the only name given under heaven whereby men can be saved, and yet, with all this knowledge, they may be as truly ignorant of the grace of God as the vilest sinner. They have not opened the heart to let Jesus in. What shall I say for the benefit of the youth? Will you open your hearts to Jesus, that his love, his mercy, may fill the chambers of your soul, that you may sing and make melody in your hearts unto God? Oh, if all your affections were given unto Jesus, you would learn the language and the songs of Canaan. In the worldling, you expect to see lightness, trifling, vanity, immorality, jesting, and joking, but let it not so much as be named among you who are risen with Christ. We must now elevate our thoughts and come to learn in the school of the Master. As we near the close of time, the current of evil will set more and more decidedly toward perdition. We can be safe only as we hold firmly to the hand of Jesus, constantly looking to the author and finisher of our faith. He is our mighty helper. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to come back tomorrow to listen to another reading from the book that I may know him. Be encouraged.